Hello everyone, welcome to Driving Approach. My name is Alexi and you are watching Mechanics Corner. And today, as you can see, we're going to talk about the engine. Welcome to Mechanics Corner. This is the first video on the engine. Today's main question is what is an engine and why does a car need one? So the main purpose of the engine is to produce torque. It does that by converting energy from different states to different states pretty much from chemical, which is the fuel, air fuel mixture, all the way to rotational, which is pretty much what we want. This is how the torque is produced, and then it's carried to the wheels. So the purpose of the engine is to produce the torque. It does it by converting the energy, and then the main reason to produce the torque is to rotate the wheels, the wheels that are then moving the vehicle. So the main purpose uh, what is an engine? What is the engine we're going to go through right now? And why does the car need one? Mainly is to move the car, so to rotate the turning wheels. So to rotate, rotate wheels. So how does the engine rotate the wheels? Just like I said, it needs to produce torque. And how an engine can produce torque is by converting energy from chemical to rotational. Before the engine can convert the chemical energy into rotational, it first needs to convert it into thermal. The chemical energy comes from the molecules of gasoline and air, so they are mixed up and uh, introduced into the combustion chamber where then they are compressed and ignited by a spark plug, by the ignition system. So by combining air fuel mixture, introducing it into the combustion chamber, closing up the combustion chamber, so it needs to be sealed, pressurizing the air fuel mixture and then igniting it, we have thermal energy that is escaping now in the form of burnt gases. So ignition of the air fuel mixture we collect air fuel mixture, introduce it, close up the combustion chamber, put it under compression so it's compressed, and then we ignite it with the ignition system. So after that, we have, after explosion happens or after you burn something, you usually have combustion gases. The expansion of those combustion gases then push on the piston. That's how the thermal energy of the expanding gases is then converted into the mechanical energy and the first form of the mechanical energy in the engine is the up and down or the reciprocating motion of the piston that's why we have the up and down right here well it's more of a down this happens afterwards so it's more of a just a down push of the expanding gases but then the engine is engineered a certain way that after it goes down it obviously needs to go up that's why i drew up and down arrows so after the gases have been expanded because of the combustion process and after they have pushed on the pistons and they created that reciprocating motion up and down of the pistons pistons are directly connected to the crankshaft which is the main rotating thing in the engine the crankshaft when the car is in drive and when you're you know when the car is moving is ultimately indirectly but physically connected to the rotating wheels so that the torque can go from the rotating crankshaft that is rotated by all the mechanisms that we went through right now then 
the power is transferred from the crankshaft to the rotating wheels and that's how the rotating wheels are rotated. Obviously there are many things that are happening here with the transmission, differential, drive shaft and axles. We'll get into all of that later, but the main thing, the main reason for the engine is to create the rotational motion or the torque, the twisting force of the crankshaft from collecting, combining the air fuel mixture, introducing it into the combustion chamber, compressing it, igniting it. From that we have, we're creating expansion gases because we're exploding or more of a burning the air fuel mixture. Then those expanding gases push on the piston that is directly connected to the crankshaft that then makes the cr crankshaft rotate. And that's pretty much the goal of the engine is to rotate the crankshaft with the, as least amount of polluting gases and obviously using as little fuel as possible, as little of those molecules as possible. The engine pretty much is a mechanism that is able to convert chemical energy into rotational energy by burning the air fuel mixture. And that's the, that's the main thing it does and the reason why it does it is to rotate the wheels. That's pretty much it for this part. Next part of the video would be transporting outside. I'll have the car there and I'll, be, I'll show you the engine and well as much as I'll be able to show you where the path from the crankshaft or from the engine goes to the rotating wheels and uh, just show you where the engine is and stuff like that. So see you outside. Hello everyone, we're continuing our video about the engine and uh, right now we're outside, we have a car, we have the engine, we have the wheels and we're gonna take a look at it. First I'm gonna open up the hood. And in the video from approaching driving, I'm showing how to put the washer wiper fluid and I showed where it's, how to open the trunk. So if you don't know, you can check out that video and you'll know how to open up the trunk. Okay, and let's take a look at the engine. Okay, so here we have the engine. We've talked about the uh, crankshaft and how the air fuel mixture goes into the engine. It's compressed there, ignited. And then we have the hot gases forming from that combustion process that are pushing on the pistons that then rotate the crankshaft. So I decided to take the car outside, show you guys the engine. The Obviously those are the wheels. This is a front wheel drive car. We'll get into what front wheel drive is, what rear wheel drive is in later videos. But for now, what you need to understand is that this is the engine that powers up these wheels. So that makes cars with front wheel drive a bit simpler. So the power doesn't need to go to the rear to turn the wheels. If you look over here and actually that big bolt right there I don't know if you can see it, just one second. Right there, that's that's actually the end of the crankshaft. And um, over here, no, it's actually, I don't know, can you see it from here? Here, I can't even see myself. Well, somewhere there, I can't really see at the moment, but I think that's it, is one of the axles going to the right wheel so that the power can be transferred from the engine to the wheels. I think that's it pretty much for this video because that's the main thing I wanted to show. 
it's just the first video we talked about again the air fuel mixture going in igniting it and pushing the piston piston then rotating the crankshaft and the crankshaft is then powering the wheels thank you very much for watching mechanics corner this is driving approach my name is alexei and uh, see you in the next video